to number 1. We have 7 to the negative 3x minus a's power equals 49 2x minus 5 power. So we try to make the same base. Definitely 49 I can turn into 7 squared. So I will do that. Negative 3x minus 8 equal to 7 squared. Then original exponents you got to do multiplication. That's the way. So in this way I make the same base. And uh, I will get negative 3x minus 8 equal to 4x minus 10. Because I do distributive property. Then for this linear function, I need to isolate the variable on one side. So remember, cross the river change the sign. I got negative 3x minus 4x equal to 8 minus 10. Combine like terms, negative 7x equals negative 2. So you divide by negative 7 both sides. I will get x equal to 2 over 7. That's the final answer. Okay, so for second question, we can make the same base 2. And uh, for the left side, this is the multiplication of power. I add exponents. So I got x plus 3x plus 1 equal to 2, 128. It will be 2 to the 7th power. Then original 5x minus 9, I will do distributive property for that. So this time, same base. And I will get 4x plus 1 equal to 35x minus 63. So put the all variable on one side because this is a linear function. That's why. I move the 35 to the left side, positive 1 to the other side. I got minus 35x equal to negative 1 minus 63. So we combine like terms. We got negative 31x equal to negative 64. Then you divide it by negative 31, both sides. x will be 64 over 31. That's the answer for number 2. So we go to number 3. For number 3, some students make mistake like this. When they check, oh yeah, we got the all E as the base, so they cancel like this. You cannot cancel the base, except you have to set up like a B to the x power equals to b to the y's power. Then you cancel get the x equals to y. That's the rule. So when you have operation, you cannot cancel. That's really wrong. Make sure that. And on the left side, I cannot do anything for that. On the left side, 1 over e to the 7th power, I can write down e to the negative 7th power. So left side I still keep the same equals power multiplication. That's why you add exponents 8x plus negative 7 just minus 7. This time you can cancel the e and get the x square equals 8x minus 7. It's a quadratic function. So first step make sure equal to 0. I move 8x and then negative 7 on the left side, change the sign equal to 0. So we factor. Then you will get the x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to 7. That's the final answer for number 3. For number 4, same thing. On the left side, that's a division of a power, we subtract exponents. So when we do the subtraction, we need to turn into addition because that's easier. You need to add opposite 
So I've got negative 8x, then it's a positive 7. On the right side, 27x, I can write down 3 to the 3x power, because 27 means 3 to the third power. 1 over means negative exponents, so 3 to the negative 3x. Then this way, 3 cancel. And I combine like terms for over here. I will get negative 6x plus 12 equal to negative 3x. Then I move negative 3x on the left side and positive 12 the other side. I will get that negative 6x plus 3x equal to negative 12. Then you will get negative 3x equal to negative 12. Divided by negative 3x equal to 4. That's all. For number 5, when you have this kind of uh, problem in your mind, you got to know that's the pattern for quadratic. You know, for quadratic function, it's ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. What's the quadratic pattern for exponential equation? I can write down a times p to the x power squared, then plus b times p to the x power, then plus c equal to 0. This pattern we call quadratic pattern for exponential equations. So first of all, you have to make sure it's equal to 0. That's why 36, I can write down 6 to the 2x power. Then minus 2 times 6 to the x power, then minus 24 equal to 0. When you do the quadratic pattern for exponential function, you have to know this rule, like p to the 2x, I can write down, p to the x power squared. And also you need to know the p to the x power plus n, I can write down, p to the x power times p to the nth power. So for 6 to, to the 2x power, I can write down 6x squared. Then minus 2 times 6x power minus 24 equal to 0. Then you will set up 6 to the x power equal to 1. You can set up any variable you like. So I can get the y squared minus 2y minus 24 equal to 0. So factor, we can get y plus 4 and then y minus 6 equal to 0. So y1 equals negative 4. And we have y2 equals 6. Since our variable is not y, it's x, so we plug back in y equals 6 to the x power. So I got 6 to the x power, that's y equal to negative 4. Yeah, you cannot get the negative number for 6 to the x power. That's why there is no solution. For y2 equals 6, I can plug back in 6x power equals 6, that's why x equal to 1. That's the solution for number 5. Okay, now let's go to number 6. For number 6, I can write down 7x squared, then plus 4 times 7x then minus 5 equal to 0. Since this is a quadratic pattern for exponential function, 
you have to make sure equal to zero. Then I set up seven to the x power equal to y. So we got y squared plus four y minus five equal to zero. Okay, I factor you will get the y plus five then y minus one equal to zero. Therefore, your y1 equal to negative 5 and y2 equal to 1. So let's bring down here. I have y1 equal to negative 5 and y2 equal to 1. I need to plug back in y equals 7 to the x power. So 7 to the x power equal to negative 5. Definitely is no solution. For y2 equals 1, I can write down 7 to the x power equal to 1, which means 7 to the x power equals 7 to the 0 power, so x equal to 0. That's the solution for number 6. <laughs>